Okay, so number 14, I have a bag that contains six balls. And let's say they're distinct balls at this point. A person takes one out and replaces it. After he has done this six times, find the probability that he has had in his hand every ball in the bag. So I'm going to say on his first draw, he has six to choose from. And he can pick any one, so there's six of them. Now in the second draw, because he's throwing it back in the bag, there's still six chances. There's still six balls there. But he can't pick the same ball. So how many choices are left? Five. Let's keep going. And then he's got four. Let's keep going. He's keep throwing the ball back in. Then there's three left that he can choose from. Then there's two left that he can choose from. Out of the six, by the way. And then one left to choose from. And that's the probability of that going to occur. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then see, one, two, three. Yeah, I did it right. Let's do some cancellations. And I'm going to see if I get the right number. Three times two is six. Let's see, four has two twos in it. Uh, let's see if I did that right. That would give me three. That would give me three. And what do you get there? You get five on top. And nine times 36. And what do you get there? Five. Nine times three is 27, that's 270. I think I made a mistake on my key, by the way. And nine times six is 54. We can, we can correct the key, by the way. Five, and that would give you what? Uh, let's see, 50, three, 24. Let me make sure I'm right about that. 270, 54, four, 12, yeah, 324. By the way, I want to do it again. I want to say I'm right or wrong without actually looking at it carefully. All right, I make mistakes all the time. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say right now, I, I compute the number, and I say this is the correct answer. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back over here, though, and I'm going to just make sure I got the same thing written down. 6 over 6, 5 over 6, 4 over 6, 3 over 6, 2 over 6, 1 over 6, and I'm going to reduce. All right? Three times two, that's six. Four is two times two, so that would be three, and that would be three. What are you left with on top? Five, I agree with that. And on bottom, I get nine times 36. I'm gonna do that again, just to make sure. Nine times six is 54. Nine times three is 27. 32. So I made a mistake here, and I'll correct it. You're not going to see that. It should be 324. Thank you.